Okay, guys, so I'm going to be making a video about pedestrians and when they've got priority, okay, because this comes up on your test all the time. We're going to be talking about the highway uh, code rule of H2, okay, so you'll find it at the beginning of the highway code. Okay, so here it is written in the highway code, rule H2. Okay, so as you can see, it's a should give way to pedestrians crossing or waiting to cross. Um, it has not been written in red writing, which is must, must not, which is the law. However, it is under the category of should, should not or do, do not, which as you can see from the writing here, um, says, although failure to comply with the other rules of the code will not in itself cause a person to be prosecuted, the Highway Code may be used in evidence in any court proceedings under the Traffics Act to establish liability. We're going to be talking about the Highway uh, Code rule of H2. Okay, so you'll find it at the beginning of the Highway Code. And this is where pedestrians have priority when you're coming up to a junction. So when you're turning into um, a junction or coming out uh, from a junction. A junction can be anything, of course. This is a picture of a, of a turn left major to minor. So as you can see, it's ridiculously easy to understand from this video that this, this car is coming up and he's got to give way to the pedestrians here before he turns into the turn. So these this would be people who are just still and and they're waiting to cross the road. They don't, if they're in the road already, obviously give way, but if they're still and waiting, then again, you still need to stop and let them pass. It is important that you have a straight position when you're giving way. Try not to turn in so you're actually halfway into the turn and then stop because if somebody hit you from the back, you're going to go forward into them anyway, right? So it's very important that you're in a straight line um, and just look at the people. They'll, they'll understand. We can't beckon them across the road because we might wave them into danger if somebody hasn't seen them from the other side. So it is important that the pedestrians make their own decision about crossing the road if you're turning in, okay? Because people may come down here and try and turn in. I know that that's not their priority, but if you've stopped there, you may be having a cheeky person coming in like that. So just, just stop there, lovely straight line, make eye contact with these people so they know, they know that they can cross the road, okay? And stop in a straight um, line, all right? If you have, like today my student had somebody here and he didn't want to go. So he had a walking stick and he didn't want to be rushed across the road. So this this man with the walking stick, he just literally used an arm signal to us. And so he beckoned to us to go first. So we were turning in here. The old man was there and he said, no, you go first. So we thanked him and uh, we then took priority. If, if the pedestrian wants to give up his priority, then fair enough. That's OK. So that's an example in the book of obviously turning left where you have to give way to pedestrians. But I've made some other ones just off the top here. So like this is the right turn major to minor. OK, so here you are coming down the road. So mirror signal, right? And then you're moving your position to be just left of centre line, all the usual stuff. Sorry, this is a bit messy because I'm drawing through my phone. And then as you come up, of course, you need to give way to the oncoming people naturally, but you need to give way to the pedestrians who are crossing the road or wanting to cross the road this way. All right. So once you've given way to oncoming people, you also need to incorporate whether you need to stay still um, to give way to the pedestrians before you move in as well, because you can stay in this position, let them cross the road, and then you're going to turn. That giving way needs to be done before you make your move for, for hopefully obvious reasons, because if you stop here, then you're in the line of fire, so to speak. So you don't want to be doing any turning and then stopping to give way. You want to stop here in a safe position, in a lovely straight line, like as before, give way to oncoming people, give way to the pedestrians, and then when it's safe, then you can go. If the pedestrian decides to give way to you because they beckon to you or they don't go um, and they make it very, very clear that they're not going to go, then you can turn in. So that's that example coming up to a town roundabout, right? Um, so as you're coming up to the town roundabout, so we're talking about um, an uncontrolled roundabout. So you haven't got any traffic lights here. It is literally just coming up to a mini roundabout or a medium sized roundabout when you've got give way lines on the floor. No lights. Um, this is not press button um, for the pedestrians at all. In any of these examples, this is uncontrolled. So no traffic lights in these examples. OK, 
Okay, so um, when the when you're coming up like this, if you see a pedestrian wants to cross the road before the roundabout, then if it's safe to do so, then you can slow down and you can pause and you can let the pedestrian cross the road in a town roundabout. This this sounds easy. This is easier than it sounds. Okay, because if you're driving around in a town, it's going to be a mini roundabout or a medium sized roundabout. So. You, your observations and your awareness would be so high anyway that you're going to just you'll see the pedestrians around you'll slow down and then you can stop here gently and safely let the person cross the road if there's an island there they may just uh, cross into the middle there so they're safe and then they will have to make their safe decision about crossing here because people in the roundabout are not going to be able to stop from them there that's that's too dangerous which we'll explain in a minute but the pedestrian will be able to get to the island there and then make their own decisions about to cross there so it's almost like you're kind of like making your own giveaway line there coming up pausing giving way to pedestrians here if they've already crossed to get to the island you give way to them there or there and then you come up to the roundabout and of course do the roundabout um, in in the correct way which you can watch another video about if you need to and then when you're coming through the roundabout once you're in it's unlikely now that you are going to give way to a pedestrian who is already passed here and who wants to cross this way or this way because that is a very dangerous place, right? So if you've actually got into the roundabout and you've given way like to all the right and you're in the roundabout and you're driving here, stopping here for these pedestrians is very unlikely. Yeah, that would be a dangerous place to stop because you are literally within the, the junction. You're, you're doing it, you're picking up speed probably. These pedestrians here, unless it, you would need to very carefully analyse the situation and safely ignore them if it's possible to, because if you stop here, you could get a car in the back of you because people are trying to enter here and um, people are picking up speed behind you. So it's unlikely that you are going to stop for this pedestrian. That could be very, very dangerous. Um, so you come up, make sure that they're not being silly and they're crossing the road or anything because that is a completely different story clearly if people are walking in the road and you have to save them then obviously that's different but if they are stopped there and they're being very very sensible then you safely ignore them to go down like that the person who's driving up this way would give way if there's a pedestrian there and there they would stop there um but that's a you know that's their approach which is what we've already spoken about OK, hope that makes sense. OK, so and then, of course, the uncontrolled crossroad um, that you can get as well. Again, I keep on mentioning these are uncontrolled areas, no traffic lights. OK, so crossroads. So this is going to be exactly the same as um, coming up to a T junction. OK, so you could you could call it a T junction as well. All right. So it's a crossroads. I should have drawn a picture of a T junction, actually. Um, OK, I'll do that in a sec. Um, so <clears throat> as you're coming up to a uncontrolled crossroads in a town, you're going to be able to spot there's people like waiting patiently at the side of the road, waiting to cross the road. So you would gently come up with the mirror check just to make sure everyone behind you is safe. Safely come to a stop here. Allow the pedestrian to cross the road safely and then go up to the junction and stop and do the junction as normal. If you arrive at the junction... And then the person comes afterwards, you know, they, that person will obviously have to make their way around the back of you or do or whatever they're going to do. Or if they do choose to walk in front of you, just stay still, obviously. But if you've arrived first and then the pedestrian comes later, then obviously be very, very careful of the pedestrian. But you did get there first. So just make sure that the person's not going to um, walk in front of you. If they do walk behind you, be careful about rolling if there is any type of hill uh, that is a failable offence. Um, so if you roll back and someone's walking behind you, you're going to fail for that, I'm sorry to say. So just make sure you get your handbrake on and you are not going to be rolling. And then a little bit like the roundabout rule. Yeah, when you've when you've decided that you're going to move off, you if you're going straight on at this crossroads, you wouldn't stop. Um, as you move out, if somebody's crossing, was trying, trying to cross the road here, you wouldn't stop here to allow them to cross there. That's too dangerous. You, you're right in the line of fire. So you give way to pedestrians on approach to the junction. And then here you would safely, safely ignore the pedestrian here. So you have to make a, like a decision about like, yep, yeah, that person's safe and they are staying there. 
I'm going to go through, okay? Maybe if they're there at the beginning, you could potentially stay there for a bit longer if you want to, to be like, right, they need to cross the road first, fair enough. But when you've made your way in here, unless it's an emergency situation, it would be dangerous to stop here. You know, you're right. That really would not be great, would it? So you can imagine if you're stopped there not safe okay so um just because i haven't um included a picture of a um t junction i'm just going to quickly use this picture but i'm going to turn it upside down the magic of youtube so if you were coming up ooh, actually is that going to work that's a bit confusing isn't it okay fine okay fine <clears throat> I probably don't need to draw this for you guys, do I? Let's let's be honest. Okay, so clearly T junction, right? It's oh god, this is gonna be. Look at me trying to be all neat and tidy for YouTube, and then this happens. Okay, right. So there we go. Here you are. <laughs> I'm really showing myself up now. All right. So when you're coming up to a T junction, that's the main road there. That's the major road there. So. As you come up to this, if there's pedestrians waiting patiently to cross the road, then you can give way to them to cross the road before you get to the give way there. Again, if pedestrians want you to go first and they give you their priority fair enough, then you can just carefully go up and stop and do the junction. All right. Or if people are already in the road, clearly give way. All right. OK, so here's just a wide of all, all of the pictures that I've drawn. OK, so... Look, at the end of the day, just exercise common sense. Be very careful with your approach speed because of the person behind. If there's pedestrians around any of the turns that you're going to be making, just be very careful about the approach speed as you arrive. Because, you know, like I've been saying all through the video, just be very careful of the people behind you. You know, you don't want to be right rushing up and then seeing a pedestrian and slamming your brakes on. You know, carefully approach as you would do normally. And if there's pedestrians nearby, exercise even more caution and just be very, very careful because, you know, you may need to give way to these people um, to um, turn into your turn or come out of your roundabout or come out of your T-junction or crossroads. OK, so just exercise that caution and be very careful with your approach speed. All right. OK, so I really hope that information helps and um, you get more of an idea of when the pedestrians have got priority. It can be a failable offence if you don't give way to a pedestrian correctly on your driving test. So I really, really hope this information helps and it's a bit clearer now. OK, take care.